top drugstore favorite makeups and you're probably thinking what is even drugstore makeup in Australia? What is even drugstore makeup? What even is drugstore makeup in Australia? Australia is really, really expensive when it comes to makeup. Revlon mascaras are literally like, or Revlon foundations are literally like $30 to $40 here in Australia. It's really, really expensive and that's like the price of a MAC foundation or whatever in the US. So everything's kind of really, really expensive here, but you just got to deal with it because you got to get your makeup from somewhere. But today I'm just going to be filming my top favourites. Obviously this is going to be my top favourite drugstore items if you're in the US. And if you're not in the US, it's basically my top favourite makeup products that I always tend to reach for that I just think are really, really good quality for the money. So anyways, let's get started. I'm going to start off firstly with face products. So I have two foundations that I think are really, 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 are really amazing drugstore products. The first one is the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous Outlast Foundation. Mine is in the shade 842. This foundation is meant to be a three-in-one, so it's a foundation, primer, oh my camera's going to run out. The foundation, primer, and a concealer all in one. I think this gives amazing, amazing coverage. It's kind of like a satin finish. Gives amazing coverage. Feels really, really nice on the skin, but it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look cakey. It is absolutely awesome. I really recommend that you try out this foundation if you haven't already. And the other foundation which I love is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation, and I'm in the shade Classic Beige. I really like this foundation. It's a non-transferring foundation, so it's not meant to come up on your clothes, and it's meant to be sort of like water resistant. But I really like it. I really like the finish. As I said, it's not really like a dewy finish, but it's not a matte, so it's sort of like a satin finish looks like your skin blends in really well and I just really like the formulation of it basically and how long it lasts on my skin so yeah the Maybelline Superstay and CoverGirl Outlast I think if you are going to get foundations from the drugstore and you want sort of that full coverage but it doesn't look like it's full coverage on your skin definitely go and pick up these. So moving on next to concealer, I have two concealer products that I think are amazing. The first one is generally like a drugstore item, it's super super cheap, it's the Essence Stay All Day Concealer. This is what I generally tend to use to highlight underneath my eyes, but I love this concealer. It is not cakey underneath the eyes, it highlights really really nicely and has a really really good formulation. The next one is the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. This is a pretty popular concealer, um, as most of you guys might know, I just find it really good. I, I keep the formulation but the formulation is really nice um, it's very thick but it blends in really nicely it has like a mousse kind of consistency to it it has the little like sponge applicator on it um, if you haven't seen it before and it does do a really really good job of highlighting your under eyes and your dark circles as well this is the treatment one and this one is a little bit pink like it has a pink undertone to it so I don't really like using it because I prefer something with more of a yellow based undertone um, but I really do generally like it I have had it like twice and it is a really really good concealer so I definitely recommend that you go pick this up. Everyone talks about it. It really is as good as what everyone says. So moving on to eyes, the first one is a palette, and this is the Chi Chi Classics palette. Now, the Nudes palette from Chi Chi is meant to be really similar to the Urban Decay Naked palette, but basically the Classics palette is really similar as well. Very, very neutral eyeshadows. Um, basically, if you cannot afford or you don't want to buy the Urban Decay Naked palettes, definitely suggest that you go and try these out because I feel like the colors are really similar, and I recently seen a swatch online. Um, somebody that I follow on Instagram had a swatch of the Nudes palette in comparison to the Urban Decay Naked palette and let's be honest this one oh the what nudes palette actually had better pigmentation they're about $20 so they're a lot cheaper than the Urban Decay palette and I really really like them the colors are really nice they blend really nicely and they're really really pigmented of course the packaging isn't that nice but as I said it doesn't really matter because it's what in, it's what it's inside that counts. The next thing that I have is the e.l.f. Um, High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. It's super, super tiny. It's basically a translucent powder. And basically what I use it for is obviously setting my under eyes for my concealer. This is really, really good. I can't remember how much it is, but it's definitely under like $10. I bought mine from Beauty Joint, even though they do sell e.l.f. now. I think it came out or whatever. This is really good. It is not thick underneath the eyes. Um, and I have fine lines underneath my eyes where concealer always sits in so this just kind of doesn't worsen that like some other powders can do um, as I said it's translucent so it's really really nice if you do like to um, 
that your undries with a highlight like me and you don't kind of want to change the highlight and you want to leave it there using a translucent powder is really good and it does have um, pink glitter in it but the pink glitter goes away after you've like pressed the powder on and like swiped it away I have two single eyeshadows that I think are really really good for the price I mean as I said they're not super super cheap if you live in Australia but if you don't they're pretty cheap and I definitely recommend you try them out if you haven't the first one are the L'Oreal color infallible eyeshadows um, these are really really good they're like a pressed pigment and I just think they look really nice just all over the lid they do have like quite a variety of colors but they are really really pigmented I know sometimes with like cheaper eyeshadows you can find they're either like too glittery or chunky or too like powdery but the Revlon the L'Oreal color infallible eyeshadows are really really good they just go on really quite opaque and like pigmented but um, you know they're not like super super expensive and the other eyeshadow that I recommend is the Essence Stay All Day um, is it Stay All Day? No that was the concealer oh my god should I just stop filming the Essence eyeshadow in Party All Night and um, you can buy this at Essence stores it's just single eyeshadows which I don't really like but these eyeshadows are really really amazing because they're super super pigmented you can even see in like the pan how pigmented they are I actually use this on my mum for her wedding day and it's just such a gorgeous like gold metallic color but it's not like a chunky metallic or you know whatever it's just amazing it's almost like a pressed pigment and um, I think these are really really pigmented and I believe they're like two to three dollars so it's crazy speaking of essence my favorite mascara literally like ever now I need to purchase another one I'm going to in a few days but this is the Essence Lash Mania Reloaded False Lash Mascara it comes in a silver tube this gives my lashes volume and length and blackens them without looking clumpy absolutely love it literally three or four dollars um, definitely like goes beyond my Maybelline mascaras, CoverGirl mascaras. It was hard to me, for me to find a blush. I do really recommend NYX blushes and Milani blushes and all that kind of stuff because I feel like they do give really, really good color payoff, which I think is something that you want. Some blushes from the drugstore can be quite like powdery or just really unpigmented, but I really recommend the Milani uh, baked blushes, the mineralized baked blushes. This one is in Luminoso. The packaging is really nice. It has the baked blush in there and then it has a mirror the color of this blush is really gorgeous it is my favorite I really want to purchase some more of the colors of this blush but the blush is just so pigmented you don't need a highlight with it because it gives a really really nice gorgeous sheen and for the price as I said um, I get mine from Beauty Joint I think it's like literally as I said three to five dollars and it's, it's a really really gorgeous blush you only need a small amount looks absolutely amazing and yeah it's super super cheap okay next off I have the Revlon lip butters this one's in sorbet I recently just got it in one of like the Priceline goodie bags but I really like these I know that they're not super cheap here in Australia but if you haven't tried the Revlon lip butters I do recommend it they're basically just kind of like a lip balm but they have amazing color payoff and they're really really nice and soft on the lips they don't last a ton of time um, but they're really really nice colors very moisturizing very glossy and I do actually own quite a few of these so if you kind of like want something that's in between like a tinted lip balm and a lipstick then definitely pick these up as I mentioned before I really really love Chi Chi products and I love their Viva La Diva lipsticks the packaging is absolutely amazing this one is in the color Va 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 Voom and it's a really really nice um, bright pink with a blue undertone to it these lipsticks are really amazing I have two of them they're very very creamy very opaque um, once again I'm sure that they're quite the same quality of a high-end lipstick very very similar I'm sure um, amazing amazing quality they have such an amazing range of colors like if you go to a Chi Chi counter they have like 50 lipstick colors they're awesome I can't remember how much they are but uh, they have so many from like really really nude to really really dark colors so these are awesome and then I have three glosses the first one which literally these probably wouldn't make an appearance um, or probably you'd think it was weird if they didn't make an appearance in this video are the NYX Butter Glosses. These are cheap no matter where you live. They have amazing, amazing color payoff. They are super, super creamy, buttery, which is why they're called the Butter Glosses. And they do have quite a good selection of colors as well. They also smell amazing. They smell like vanilla. I think all NYX products smell amazing, like all of the lip products pretty much. Really, really like them. Another NYX gloss. This is pretty much... Um, well, now that I have creme brulee, it's probably like my second favorite gloss, but it's just the NYX gloss, um, 
the NYX lip gloss. I don't even know. It doesn't have a specific brand. And it's in the shade 28 Whipped. This is the perfect nude shade. It is not orangey. It is not too peachy. It is just nude. Really, really nice formulation. These smell really nice as well. They kind of smell quite sweet. Um, but this was my favorite lip gloss before creme brulee came along um, really really cheap and yeah they're awesome and then the last lip product which I think is a really really good drugstore find and this is a drugstore find is the Savvy by designer brands high shine lip lacquer I think these are relatively new but they're basically like a lip cream but they give a, an amazing amazing shine amazing pigmentation I haven't worn it a ton so I don't know how long it lasts but I presume that it would last quite a while you kind of do need to wear a lip liner with these because it does bleed a little bit but um amazing if you want something that's really really opaque really really shiny uh definitely recommend that you try these out and i think they're like literally like seven or something dollars so that is it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video of my top drugstore makeup picks the ones that i definitely recommend for the money and that's basically it and yeah i'll talk to you all very very soon bye guys oh and don't forget to like and comment and subscribe on the channel and follow me on instagram and twitter and all that sort of stuff because i always take notice of when you guys follow me on those sites and i always like to chat with you guys so don't forget to do that and i'll talk to you all soon bye